Okay. Uh, you guys can see the screen right here. Shout out to my boy. And as I did say in the last video, if you do comment in my videos, bro, I am gonna choose somebody that do comment in the video in the description. I'm gonna give them a shout out, show them on the on the on the video right here. So if you guys do want um your chance to be in the video, a shout out for you, bro. Shout out your comment, bro. So in the description in general, bro. If you guys have any other video ideas you guys want me to do, bro, or any other videos you guys are interested in, bro. Follow me on my Instagram, as you can see on the screen right there, and hit me up on Instagram. Or hit me up, at, or hit me up in my comments. Cause I always respond on my comments, bro. Thank you guys for watching this, though. Don't forget to hit the little like and sub, bro. Get directly into this video, and peace the fuck out, fam. What's up, guys? Your boy Alien Six. Today, guys, we're going to another video again. Today, this video is based on EDP admitting that he fundle kids, he tags kids for fun, bro. He cupcakes for with kids. He's a kid dundler, bro. He's an apex predator without the without the eight without the fucking not the Apex. My boy's the Apex player about the Apex, bro. My boy is Chris Ass's best friend, bro. This is him admitting it in this video by my boy James Marriott. Once again, bro, follow him right there. His name is right there. And the video, the video, the full video is also going to be in the description in general, bro. And leave a like and a sub and comment if you want to keep seeing this beautiful, ugly ass face, bro. No, you want to. And as I always see in every video, whoever comments, any comment in the description, your comment has a chance of being in the next video. So. Shout out for that. And we're gonna get directly into this video. So yeah, you already know already. Follow the socials. We stream on Kick and we stream on Twitch. Follow that shit. I'm gonna get this shit started and let's go. So it has been quite some time since we talked about EDP 445 on my channel. But I feel like he's always kind of been that elephant in the room. I guess at some point I just kind of got tired of covering his various antics because it felt like everything he was doing at this point was just a desperate cry for attention. Of course, there was the time he got on TikTok and was crying that he had some sort of stage 3 kidney failure, saying that he didn't have a lot of time left on this earth. Then there was the incident where he was apparently going so broke that he was selling his YouTube plaques off his bootleg website. Let's get one thing right. How the fuck did YouTube send this man an actual plaque that says "Eat That Pussy Movement 445"? You must have gotten this. Shit, you must have gotten this plaque at a different fucking time of YouTube, like back in the days of YouTube, fucking, um, fucking leafy leaf fucking era. Because YouTube would not send you a plaque. I don't believe YouTube would send you a plaque that says "Eat That Pussy Movement." That looks like this, bro. I feel like you'll be too afraid of getting canceled to send you a plaque like this, bro. I feel like you would not. Somebody bought um the plaque for when I hit. 100k on my backup channel so i'll be shipping that out soon more more than likely on monday we also had the whole drama with him and the guy from mr beast which no matter how you feel about that situation i don't think that he should exactly be the spokesperson for how we should be treating little kids i mean this guy got caught doing the most despicable thing possible my boy, can you stop fucking staring into my fucking soul what the fuck bro that man <laughs> EDP walks into a school and sees a million cupcakes. Custody this fucking scene of him. <laughs> My boy walks to a fucking school. Across the road, he sees a fucking middle school. Bunch of middle school, bunch of little girls. Cut back to him still like this. It's like, bunch of cupcakes. Yummy, dummy, dumb, my boy literally stares down the street, boss. He's a kindergarten. He's like, there's unlimited cupcakes down there. <laughs> I need fucking Jesus. And I believe at this point, it's been almost two years since the internet watched on as an internet folklore got absolutely destroyed. And now at this point, I suppose that EDP has exhausted all of his options. And he's decided that the best course of action at this point is apparently to issue some sort of apology. Alrighty, so first and foremost, I want to say thank you so much to my loving, supporting, caring friends and family. You guys have sat back. My boy is wild. I don't know if this is him. If this is not him. And this dude literally did an apology video with a bunch of cupcakes around him, bro. Then, but you fucking wild, bro. You fucking wild, bro. You ridiculous as fuck. You wild, bro. took me by the hand, you know what I mean? And you guys have um, done nothing but show me love, compassion, support, you know what I mean? And for that, I am ever so fucking grateful. Now, how would you guys- Nah, I mean, maybe before, now, people know you guys are gonna like fundling kids, bro. 
This man, this man is the 2020 fucking TV version of Willy Wonka. The only difference between is that the chocolate factory is gonna give you. It's not gonna be the chocolate factory you want. Guys, feel if someone who you were personally close to in your life got caught being on this type of time, is it one of those things, or would it be like, look, I gotta block you, I gotta delete you, and just like the whole rest of the world, I'm just gonna kind of put you in the corner and forget about you, because. It's I feel like that's kind of difficult because, like, let's say you grew up with somebody and stuff like that in general, man. You letting their fucking kid fund a little bit, that kind of fucking... That's going to kind of keep a distance away from you. You don't want, you don't want to associate with that person. And part of that has to do, has to do with the fact that there's a high chance that if somebody sees you hanging around fucking um, God kids, they're going to think that you have some God in you. If somebody sees you hanging around a fucking pedophile, they're going to think that you're part of the fucking Boys for Love fucking Foundation. Cupcakes up, so... I can understand why people, you know, really want to associate with you. The only time when it becomes douchey is when, like, you have people, like, when EDP had his friend, the guy that was supposed to be his friend, where he started making fake videos about him, about how, like, he's in prison and stuff like that. No, like, that was, like, that in general, that's when you're just a fucking cloud chaser and you're just a piece of shit. But you literally separating yourself away from that person and not really talking to them anymore or not associating with them anymore, there's nothing wrong with that because you are just choosing not to be labeled with that exact same shit that they did. So there's nothing wrong with that. At this point, EDP was trying to have this TikTok campaign. I believe he even amassed about 500,000 followers over on that platform. But even over there, they finally took him down, okay? It must have been some sort of Chinese experiment to leave him on there for as long as they allowed him. My boy said Chinese experiment, bro. Maybe they're doing the Japanese effect. Do you know the amount of... Bro, a lot of Japanese anime companies that are known for doing the exact same thing like kids in general, bro. Maybe they're trying to experiment and see how long they can make that shit last, too. But even then, that profile got clapped, and now this man essentially has no mainstream platform to go to. And trust me, even the alternatives like hey, he can go to Rumble, but go to Rumble or fucking go to fucking kick. He can kick them cupcakes in the kid's mouth. I need to stop. I need to get them up and stop. I'm, I will stop. I'm gonna stop. A kick and Rumble do not want him. That being said, I want to take full responsibility for my actions that happened. What he really means is, I have no more money, I'm coming back, I'm about to be homeless, no job wants to hire me. So yeah, now, um, I'm sorry, let me back on YouTube. I promise not to touch kids anymore. On April 21st, 2021, um, the entire YouTube shit that went down, the entire YouTube incident, you know what I mean, um, that went the fuck down. I'm not even going to get into it, you guys already know what the fuck happened. Um, I'm taking full responsibility for accountability. Um... Yeah, you already know this man was out there on the prowl for a cupcake. I mean, after you do something like that, no one wants to hear your opinion on the- Hey, you're my corny ass. He went out for a cupcake, but got a cup case. I'm corny, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Eagles. No one wants to hear you talking about taking a shit at Chipotle. Cause you know, he did try to come back and make similar type of content that he was making before. But just knowing what we know about him now, it really just did not hit the same. And I know you guys also remember when he tried to be on his whole villain arc, really trying to feed into the hate like Adam-22 is currently, and even all that stuff made him look much, much worse. Um, I'm taking full responsibility for accountability um, for my actions. You know what I mean? Um, I have taken the proper measures and the proper steps forward to seek out help. My boy went to go find a lawyer, like, hey, lawyer, uh, what is everything I can say to make me sound good, bro? What the fuck, bro? Talk like a normal human being, bro. You know, bro, you, you, you sound like fucking Logan Paul fucking apology, bro. Um, to try to, you know, get my head on right and to make sure that, you know, in the distant future that I do not hurt. Go for a cupcake. You know what I mean? My loving, caring, supporting friends and family. Because they, they are the ones that hurt the most. They are the ones that suffer the most. So what, is this guy now gone to therapy for the disgusting things that he's attempted to do? I've received numerous messages, screenshots from my friends and family. Them getting harassed, them getting bullied, them getting f***ed with by people. You know what I mean? And um, it's all my fault. You know what I mean? It's completely my fault that um, Philippe has cut ties with me. It is completely my fault that um, JD... Katie, Pistol Two One Third, Jason that lives out in Louisiana, the, on the Dallas Cowboys fan, L Killer Five Hundred Four, Zomp, Nitro Freak, um, shit man, the the fucking list can go on. Kyle, which I already mentioned his name.
I mean, yeah, at this point, at least he's acknowledging the fact that anyone who kind of left him in the past wasn't, you know, some sort of backstabber. Okay, one, I gotta just, the guy that just showed that guy is a fucking, that guy is a piece of shit, but it's just a piece of shit for a different reason. But, um, one in general, I feel like he's finally coming to the terms of it, where he realized that he cannot just, like, brush it away. He's finally realizing that the only way of a chance of him having a fucking career or anything in general is him finally just admitting it apologizing so some people will some people will forgive him i don't give a shit i just find this funny as fuck because i'm just on youtube to make fun and eventually make that money but people that i don't really care in general i just feel like in general this match not be anywhere near kids that's what i can say in general but yeah i'm gonna finish this apology and then we're gonna end the video very soon because of it's edp bro you know you might stand up there for another cupcake it's just that what he did was such a bad look and it was such a public ordeal that you really cannot blame anyone for absolutely dropping him off the face of the earth. So many people that I let down, so many people that I betrayed their trust, you know, with my actions, you know what I mean? The thing for me is that I don't, I don't want to come on here, cry, boo-hoo, beg for people's forgiveness, you know what I mean? Um, the only yeah, my boy, that's, you might actually need to do that because... He might actually need to do that right now, bro. He might actually need to do that because a lot of people don't like you. Like, a lot of people don't like you. The only thing that I'm trying to go for in the distant future is redemption. You know what I mean? The only thing that I'm trying to go for is to restore honor and to restore um, a positive outlook on my name. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't think that that's ever going to be it. <laughs> it's not going to fucking happen, bro. It's not going to fucking happen. I'm real sorry for this man that little bit, bro, but like that's not gonna fucking happen, bro. You live in the fantasy land. Able to happen. I mean, what he did was quite literally the biggest story on YouTube back in 2021. I'm pretty sure when the catch first premiered, there was a couple hundred thousand people watching that live stream. And over time, the whole ordeal has basically been memed into internet history. My cupcakes are prepared with love and care, including my secret sauce ingredient that's used as the icing that the kids will love the taste of. This entire... What the f <laughs> My cupcake is prepared with I'm fucking done. They really put my boy in fucking avatar mode. I'm... My boy, your career is over, my boy, bro. Go work in Dollar Tree, bro. Go be like me, bro. Go do some genitorial type job, bro. Your career is over, my nigga. Your career is fucking over. I'm done. The shit that has been going down um, for me getting fucked with, me getting kicked out of fucking apartments. It's been pretty fucked up. Um, it's been a long ass fucking road. You know what I mean? A long, scary, dangerous road. You know? And again, like I mentioned before, I have nobody to blame but myself. Like I mentioned before, man, I'm seeking. All jokes aside, though, I do kind of, I do kind of like the fact that he is going out of his way to like take responsibility. Finally, it's kind of late as fuck, but it, I mean, I, I, I can understand in general. People make mistakes, but I mean, people don't make any, and people make any type of mistakes. I'm not be too judgmental in general, but I just felt like it's, it kind of came out. You kind of came out to say this way too fucking late, bro. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, bro. If you don't watch all the way, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Seeking the proper help that I need to seek out. Yeah, at this point, I don't understand why he doesn't just get off social media altogether. Like, to me, all those things likely would not have happened if he wasn't still trying to make content and make a living off of making videos online. I'm telling you guys, people on the internet seem to be better than FBI detectives when it comes to that type of thing. And people are finding out where this guy lived, where he was trying to work. My boy looking like a Pokemon character, what the fuck, bro? My boy shit, bro. I'm a fat fuck, too. I can say, I'm gonna say shit, I'm fat too, bro. No more, because he, my, 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 bro. I just got the, I just got the superpowers. I go, I go a beard to cover the flaps, bro. You gotta do that, bro. Common sense, bro. My boy look like a Pokemon character. I'm gonna fucking lie. I'm Pika Pika. That he had tried to change his name. I think it would have just been in his best interest to try and start a life offline. I am um, doing whatever I can to make sure that this does not happen again. Again, to my friends and family, I am so, so sorry that you guys had to endure this shit. Trust me, I am trying to let my actions speak louder than my words, you know what I mean? I mean, at this point, what can this guy really do to save his public image and redeem himself in any sort of way? Make some sort of large donation to a creep catcher's network? Go out there on a stakeout with Chris Hansen? I have lost um, so many good friends behind this. I don't know what I can do to um, have you guys give me a second chance. 
other than I got you. I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. Look at look at me. Look at me, look at you, look at me, look at you. You gotta go to Walmart, get the application put in. It go work its genital, bro. You gotta you gotta go go get a different job because YouTube is not gonna work for you no more. I'm ready this video here. Press the like button, hit that sub. If you don't know my videos too long, bro. It's your boy Alien CX and peace the fudge out. I'm out.